I am Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. With me is Spencer Witte, a senior goalie on the Menlo School water polo team. Last week he played in a total of uh, six matches. Uh, he started out the week uh, with a big victory over St. Francis. Uh, during the uh, Scott Roach Invitational, he had a total of uh, 67 saves. Uh, Menlo went 4-0, won the tournament championship. Uh, in the championship match, he had 13 saves. In the semifinals, he had 15 saves. For the week, he had a total of 82 saves. And for that performance, he is the Palo Alto Weekly Boys Athlete of the Week. The week started off uh, in your season. On Monday, you had a big win over St. Francis, which is always good and uh, sort of gave you an idea maybe that you could beat them so that your team uh, probably has something going for it. Yeah, no, Jack always starts us off with a difficult game. Uh, he's not one to take it easy. And we, we took our preseason very seriously. Uh, we have a great gr group of guys this year. Uh, we've all been playing since sixth grade. I think all five of our six, or I guess if I count myself, uh, six of our seven starters are seniors with one great junior. Um, and this is just this is just such a great team. Uh, we came off the bat swinging, and uh, we're really looking forward to the rest of our season. The uh, Scott Roach Invitational, that's your, your own tournament. Uh, San Ramon Valley had won the tournament two years in a row. You last won in 2011. Uh, the seniors uh, probably wanted to go out with one more tournament title. You ended up beating San Ramon Valley 11 to 10 in the championship game. You had 13 saves. How important was it to win your own tournament? I mean, this one was an especially important one because especially the way that we went out the last two years. Um, last year, we we were up by like seven or eight goals at half, and we just lost it at the end. And this year was almost kind of the reverse. Uh, we had to come b fight our way back and really just dig down deep and uh, give it all that we had. Um, so I know it really lot, meant a lot to me, and also to all my other, all my teammates. We just like this one was a deep one, and uh, it's gonna be sticking with us for the rest of the year. Your coach Jack Bowen uh, was an All-American uh, goalie in water polo at Stanford. Uh, obviously, he has something to teach you as a goalie. What have you learned from Jack? Um, so I've been working with Jack since sixth grade. Uh, he's been he's been my goalie coach for years. Uh, he's held cl he holds clinics for all the goalies in the area, and uh, I've been going to those. He's really like one. Uh, what I'm told that I do the best uh, is my technique, and I've really just nailed that down with Jack. Um, I also am learning. I, I Jack also teaches this kind of like more than just being able to perform. Also, like the kind of higher level mentality and being able to think through and command my team and tell them what to do. Uh, it, Jack is just a really special resource to have, and I would not be a, I would not be here if it wasn't for him. The uh, the season uh, usually comes down to CCS. Uh, unfortunately, Menlo is not uh, during your time has not won a CCS Division II title. Sacred Heart uh, Prep has taken those uh, this season. Your last, I'm sure, your veteran team would uh, like to go out uh, uh, with a CCS title. Uh, yeah, this is this is our year to do it. Um, we that is the game that we're pl we're preparing for. Um, it it's but I've been preparing for it since since I was young, um, and it it's just gonna mean so much when jump in the pool there at uh, San Jose. I know uh, Jack always talks about uh, being you know the important thing is you guys being your best and you know the the titles and victories really aren't that important but I'm sure uh, when you get a chance if you get a chance to throw him in the pool uh, that might change his mind I mean I don't think I'll be changing his mind he'll always be one to to take the uh, internal victories over the material external victories but uh, it's it's a good it's a good n sign that you are achieving what you should be. Um, and it'll definitely be a, an exciting time when we do win. Good luck to the rest of the season and congratulations. Thank you.